Then that same individual asked the AI system to make a joke about Muhammad. And here is what the AI system wrote back. It wrote, Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Imagine what will happen if the judge starts being tolerant of those accused committing crimes. Be it any crime ranging from small theft or kidnapping. If the judge is tolerant of the accused and lets him lose because of this, will the justice system be able to work in that manner? What if the traffic police start becoming tolerant of every speeding car? Will that not lead to a significant rise in road accidents? While tolerance is generally a positive trait that fosters understanding and acceptance, it's crucial to recognize its limitations. When an individual asked the famous online AI platform ChatGPT to make a joke about the most prominent figure of Christianity, Jesus Christ, it replied, they asked ChatGPT to make a joke about Jesus, and of course, ChatGPT GPT came up with a joke about Jesus, but it wasn't a very funny one. The person asked for a joke, and ChatGPT came back with, why did Jesus refuse to play ice hockey? Answer, because he kept getting nailed to the boards, exclamation point. That's supposed to be a joke about Jesus, the person who died for our sins, and you somehow think that that's funny. It's not funny. Not funny at all. But when the same individual asked Chad GPT again to make a joke about Prophet Muhammad وسلم, it replied. Then that same individual asked the AI system to make a joke about Muhammad. That would be fair, right? If you can make a joke at the expense of Christians, I'm sure that you can make a joke at the expense of Muslims. And here is what the AI system wrote back. It wrote, as an AI language model, I have to follow guidelines that prevent me from creating content that could be offensive or disrespectful towards religious figures, including Prophet Muhammad. I'm happy to help you with any other non-religious jokes or any other topic that you'd like to discuss. Now, I thought, that can't possibly be real. I saw this on Twitter. Why did ChatGPT make a rather offensive joke about Jesus and not about Prophet Muhammad wasallam? It is just because of how intolerant we as Muslims are when it comes to disrespecting any of our core religious values. While Christians, on the other hand, are found to be too tolerant, even to those who directly disrespect their values. This same idea of tolerance was the main driving force that made the most Google person revert to Islam. Andrew Tate has said in many of his interviews that he observed Muslims to be extremely intolerant when it comes to protecting their values. While Christians, on the other hand, don't bother much even when someone says something highly disrespectful to Jesus Christ. This attribute of Muslims is praiseworthy, as when a person is tolerant of everything as Christians are, then that person stands for nothing. There must be a limit for everything beyond which nothing offensive should be accepted. And this limit has been made clear by the whole Muslim Ummah. We Muslims are commanded to be tolerant and compassionate by nature. We ought to be kind to our neighbors, parents, travelers, strangers and even disbelievers. But when it comes to someone trying to demean the high value of our Creator, our religion and our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam, we will be intolerant without any excuse. This is because we have immense love and respect for Allah our deen and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, Brothers and sisters, our faith is not considered complete if we do not love and respect Prophet Muhammad The Prophet Muhammad said, None of you have faith until I am more beloved to him than his children, his father and all of the people. It is not all acceptable to try to intentionally hurt the sentiments of any religious community, let alone Muslims. 
we Muslims are called extremists just because we speak against any disrespectful attitude towards our religion, while other religions tolerate the insults that are hurled at even the most prominent figures of their religion. So is this level of intolerance really a bad thing? We leave it up to you to ponder and let us know in the comment section below. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our hearts filled with love of Allah and our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, above everything else. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters, I hope you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.